You want a set of dungeon tiles just like these? Here's the 10 step build. Stay tuned to get your own made by me. Step one, measure. On a piece of half inch XPS foam, measure out a 12 inch grid with a ruler and a Sharpie. Step two, cutting out the shapes. So for this step, I'm just using a cheap hot wire cutter and a guide made from craft sticks. For this step, you can just use a sharp hobby knife. I use the homemade guide to help me cut straight lines. I cut the dungeon tiles into a variety of shapes that I feel are useful when gaming. Step three, sculpting the dungeon tiles. For the grid, first I run a hobby knife lightly along the lines I measured out earlier. Then I take a sculpting tool, ballpoint pen, or mechanical pencil and run it in each of those lines. For this set, I extend the tiles halfway down the sides to give it the illusion of thick tiles sitting on stone. Don't get bogged down with measurements, it will be more of a hassle than it is worth. Next, I texture each piece with my chunk of asphalt. This will give the foam a rocky appearance. Alternatively, you can use a rock or balled up aluminum foil for a similar effect. Lastly, for this step, I use an ultra fine point Sharpie to make some cracks in some of the tiles. The Sharpie will melt into the foam and create some awesome looking cracks. Step four, black undercoating. In this step, I completely cover each tile with my black undercoating. My undercoat consists of black craft paint, gloss varnish, white PVA glue, and water. This coat is more of a protective layer than anything. Note that I paint three sides of each tile at a time, then leave to dry. After those sides are dry, I go back and paint the other three sides. You don't have to do it this way, I just find it makes less of a mess to clean. Step five, the brown underpainting. After the black undercoat is dry, I do a brown underpainting on each of the tiles. I let some of the black show through as it will add more visual interest. This coat is done on all sides except the bottom. This layer will add a bit more colorful interest to the otherwise gray tiles we are painting. Step six, gray base painting. When the brown underpainting is dry, I do a gray base painting. This layer is done with a technique called overbrushing. Overbrushing is accomplished by wiping some of the paint off your brush after loading it and keeping your brush at an angle while painting. This generally makes it so the paint does not go into the deeper recesses. Step seven, highlighting. After the previous coat is completely dry, I do a highlighting in a clean colored craft paint. This highlight is accomplished through a technique called dry brushing. To dry brush, load your brush with your cream colored paint and wipe the majority of the paint off. Then, lightly scrub the surface of the tile with the brush. This layer adds more visual interest to each piece and brings out a lot of the details. Step 8. Black wash. Next, I cover each piece in a black wash. The black wash I use consists of several drops of black India ink, water, gloss varnish, and a drop of dish soap. You don't have to use this recipe. You can literally use watered-down craft paint and get a similar, though not the same, result. Step nine, painting the bottom. After the black wash dries, I go ahead and paint the bottom of each dungeon tile black. This gives it a cleaner look and prevents the black undercoating from reactivating and getting tacky. Note that I hold my brush at an angle and paint from the middle out on each tile. This will give the edge a cleaner look. Step 10, clear coat. I cover each tile in a matte varnish. 
I prefer to use the kind that you have to paint on with a brush, but you can use spray matte varnish if you want. The spray does have a chance of melting the foam and destroying some of the work you did, so be careful to spray on in light layers. The completed project should look something like this. This set is a great place to start for building a modular setup for your dungeon encounters. The longer pieces work great when used as hallways and corridors, and larger pieces make great rooms. Oh yeah, video editing is new to me, so instead of seeing me talking, you get to see me working on this Conan miniature. For some reason, I can't get my mouth to match my voice when I edit in the Shotcut video editing software. If you happen to have a solution to this problem, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, do you want a set of these dungeon tiles? If you do, you can either make them yourself or buy them from me on Etsy or eBay. Also, join me on Patreon for discounts and chances to win bundles like this. Links in the description below. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell below. Thanks for watching.